Remember My Isa started as a family project. My grandmother passed away right before we started filming and she was very interested in the novel. I used to go over to her house and read it to her. And I felt that it was a really good way to bring my family together. And it's a project that we could all work on together that she would have really, really enjoyed doing. Making Remember My Isa was a huge learning experience for me as well as the crew. I, most of the people in the crew I had never even met before and they just were very, very energetic about it and to find people that have the same passion for film and storytelling that I have was really neat for me. Now I consider a good portion of the people to be some of my best friends and a lot of that happened on the set. I've always been very interested in history, so it just seemed natural when I started working in films that I would just stick with that history that I've always really felt connected to. Of course, on every set and every time you have a lot of people working very hard for long hours tough. together, you're going to have problems. Yep, there's a big tower right there. Is there? Yep. I can't even tell. Okay. okay, now it's out of the shot. But the way we all kept a happy attitude, the way we kept everything going, because we had a core set of crew members that just became very good friends, and they kind of pulled everybody together. Their attitudes, their, their positive thinking about the project is really what kept the whole thing going. I'd say especially about one or two members, their primary focus on the set was to keep people happy. I think I've just always been fascinated by m movies. Um, the ability to communicate through movies is just amazing. You know, millions of people see this and are moved by it and uh, I think just they're just fascinating. It's just a fascinating um, way to communicate, way to make art, way to uh, you know, inspire. And it seems complicated and it is a complicated process but when you think about it, you know, it's really at heart 
a simple thing that carries across a really powerful message. Seeing those ideas that you have in your head come to life is it's really pretty amazing. Uh, when you see like a character that you invented and you see them on the screen exactly like you pictured it, it's, it's a pretty amazing feeling. You feel it in the pit of your stomach, just this, this tingling sensation building up. The hairs on the back of your neck kind of rising when you realize you're, you know, my God, I'm working with this. This is what I'm doing. And everyone else is kind of ooing and eye and staring at it. And, you know, it's just, it's a strange sensation, but it feels great. I mean, it's, it's just, it's really amazing when you see all these people come together to make something like this happen. And to me, having all them being volunteers, it's, it's, it's impressive. And uh, I've, I've learned that people really, really can step up to the plate. And they, you know, the, when they share passions, it really, stuff can really come together. You can definitely see how there is steps of progression coming in each time we come. Each time we're here, everybody gets a little more excited about it. Everybody gets a little more into character. Everybody, and it, it's becoming a family. And the closer you get, the better the production is coming out, the better the quality. And it's just, I don't know, it's becoming a love of us all. It uh, takes a lot of time and a lot of tedious work, but it's it's getting there. And every every time we film, we get a couple more scenes. We throw those in there. We edit them together, make sure they uh, ease just right. Everybody really works together during the editing. I usually put like a rough cut together of the takes that I think are are really good, and then the tech crew all gets together and we we take a look at what I've done and really tweak it and fix it up and you know, we, we really, it's a really a group effort to get that done. My goals, what I'd like to see is uh, it to be entered in a few different film festivals and uh, I'd hope to see it on DVD and available on, our we on the website and in the future. That's pretty much what I would There is a pretty big challenge not having a budget, but we had a, a lot of help from a lot of people. Doing a low budget movie gave it a different, different sort of atmosphere. An atmosphere where everybody was was relaxed and was there for fun and it was play for us even though it was work. <laughs>